Well, it seems that Australia is currently in the grip of piano fever. Melbourne's just been graced with the presence of luminaries such as Emmanuel Axe and Geoffrey Lancaster. The Sydney International Piano Competition has just wrapped up. We bring you the highlights in a few weeks' time. And next month, it's the National Piano Awards in Shepparton. So today we thought we'd continue the theme with not one but two award-winning pianists, Amir Farid and Lee Harold. sound to that John Adams piece, Hallelujah Junction. Yeah. Ah, and minimalist music, but, but very rich as well, don't you think? Yes, well, John Adams asked for a wet, resonant, energetic sound in the opening <laughs> of that work, and uh, it's brilliant. As pianists, how do you approach a, a, a modern piece like a John Adams piece, as opposed to, say, something like a Mozart or a Beethoven sonata? Is it a different mindset that you have to approach? I think... To be honest, I think the key to interpreting most contemporary music is to treat it with the same reverence that you would treat something like 
Mozart or Rachmaninoff. Um, so to make sure that you're still playing with a great sound, that you're still putting plenty of energy and virtuosity into it. And if you respect the piece enough in those terms, it will come alive. Well, one hopes <laughs> it will. <laughs> and John Adams coming from a, a, a wonderful kind of tra tradition of minimalist music with Arvo Pett and Steve Reich. And, uh, I believe he actually calls himself a, a, a post-minimalist, which I have no idea what that means. Perhaps you can enlighten us on that. Well, I guess John Adams isn't seen as a pure minimalist. Uh, he has many other influences in his music. You can hear Debussy and Ravel in his music. You can hear Prokofiev in his music. Mm. Uh, so it's a fusion. And he's still with us, isn't he? In fact, he's coming mm -hmm. out to Perth for the Perth Festival for uh, uh, his um, opera, um, A Flowering Tree, next year. Do you plan to see that? I'd love to be able to see it, <laughs> well, schedules uh, permitting. Uh, Lee, you, you've actually seen a, a John Adams op opera in the United States, is that right? Um, actually, in, in Australia, in Adelaide a few years ago, um, Adelaide was host to the Australian premiere of El Nino, um, uh -huh. which is Adams' nativity opera, um, an incredible piece. Just, it was staged as a cantata, um, singers at the front and a multimedia presentation in the back. Um, stunning work. Do you think minimalist music uh, suits itself to opera? Um, I think it can. I think there's the, these sort of very repetitive sort of rhythmic cells, um, at least in Adam's hands, they sort of generate a background, if you like, against mm. which then the singers just project over the top um, this sort of effortless melody. So the minimalist forces are sort of very much, I guess, the foundations of the piece. They're not the only thing that drives the piece, and then he builds on top of that from there. Now, you two play as a, well, as a as a team, how well do you have to know each other? How well do you have to sort of read each other when, when you're playing? Just watching you just now, it seemed that you're in such perfect rhythm with each other. Is that what you have to be like? Well, yes, yeah, with piano duo work especially, because generally we're not so close to each other uh, in that configuration. You really have to have a very close sense of each other's playing. Uh, with piano, playing together with two pianos is so difficult because if you're slightly out it's so obvious because of the percussive nature of the instrument so it's about feeling each other's rhythm and each other's phrasing now both of you are uh, veterans of uh, many piano com competitions uh, lee you're a finalist in the uh, in the young performers awards mm -hmm. and amir you're the current holder of the national piano award which you won a couple of years ago yes well <laughs> this year is the year of the australian national piano award in shepparton and um i'll be really interested to see how it goes it fortunately like i won't be around but uh, i'll be in is london oh okay because yeah. you're spending a lot of time in, in london is that a direct result of having won the award well it certainly helped because i must admit the prize money allows me to travel it's a very gruelling competition. It's over a six-day period. How does it work? It sounds like a kind of a, you know, the kind of a, like a sports playoff or something. Yes. Well, it, it is quite a gruelling competition. Uh, it's held in four stages overall: two rounds and then a semi-final and a grand final round, uh, covering a whole range of repertoire. Well, I'm looking at my list of repertoire that the um, uh, the finalists have to play. From the, they have to play a piece from, from the Baroque, the Classical, the French Impressionistic, uh, works written after 1950, and, of course, an Australian work. Yes. So you really have to have a lot of music under your belt to, you sure to, to do. enter, don't you? All from memory. Well, Amir and Lee, thanks so much for coming on Sunday Arts this afternoon. Thanks for Thank having you us. very much. <laughs> the National Piano Awards are on in Shepparton from the 8th to the 13th of next month. And if you can't make it to rural Victoria, don't worry, ABC Classic FM will be broadcasting the final concert live. Jump onto our website for more details.